stay away from David Hayward. I don't care what he says. I don't care how many lives he's saved. Do not trust that man, no matter what. Dr. Barnaby, our head cardiologist, suffered a heart attack this morning. Oh, my God. Is he all right? David Hayward happened to be there, and he saved his life. Well, maybe we'll uh, find a trophy around here someplace. Mm. I'd be happy to accept it. Thanks, Jake. With uh, Barnaby out of commission and the other cardiologist injured, but we are going to need a replacement. Well, I know you're not suggesting that. Joe, shouldn't the board discuss this before you make a decision? They're the very ones who are pushing me here to act. We're going to lose our certification if we don't get a cardiologist on staff immediately. Well, we'll find somebody, because this would be a huge mistake. Don't you think you're being a little bit dramatic? OK, now, listen to me. It's much worse than you think. The damage to the hospital from the storm was far worse than we anticipated. Zack Slater's threatening to sue us. I'll deal with Slater, Dad. All right. all right, all right. Then we don't know the fallout from Taylor's accident anymore. So my hands are tied. And if ever there was a time for all of us to put our personal feelings aside and pull together, this is it. Well, that's a pretty tall order. So, David, I, I know you know what I'm going to ask you, but I should make it formal. Uh, would you consider rejoining the staff of Pine Valley Hospital? This must be killing you. Well, let's put it this way. Your first wrong move, you're out the door. So don't make me regret this decision. Now, Joe, would I ever do that? We'll make this official in 30 minutes or so when we meet with the board. Keep myself occupied. What are you doing here? Um, <laughs> I'm just about to start work. Joe gave you a job. Yeah, and I accept it. I meant what I said at the burial, Crystal. I'm going to get my life on track. I'm going to stay in Pine Valley to prove to you and JR, everyone, that I'm no longer out for revenge. You're staying because of little A. <laughs> yeah, yeah, someday, sure. I mean, of course, I want to spend time with my grandson, see him grow up. Now, I know that's not going to happen overnight, so... It's not going to happen, ever. They're gone. JR took little A, and they're moving back to San Diego. <sighs> Will you tell your dad that your grandpa loves and misses you both? Yes. Yes, you're such a good boy. I couldn't ask for a better namesake. Thank you. You all set to go, little buddy? Ah. <laughs> Grandpa loves and misses you. Oh, he said that, did he? I was supposed to uh, remind you of that later. Mm -hmm. Well, you tell your grandpa that we'll be back to visit. A lot, right? <laughs> You ready to go? Ready to say goodbye? Uh, no, no, we've been doing far too much of that lately. What do you say uh, we uh, say, um, see you later? Or see you soon? That sounds better, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Dad. I'm gonna hold you to that. Hey. What are you doing here? I had to drop off some evidence to forensics. The Emma Lavery case. Any leads? Nothing yet, but hopefully that's going to change. How, how are you doing? I mean, uh, uh, you released Natalia yet? She's still in her room. Jesse. What? What's wrong? Is she OK? No, it's not Natalia. It's Rebecca. She collapsed. What? Why? We ran some tests. As it turns out, Rebecca has a brain tumor. A brain tumor? Oh, my God. Can I see her? Ah, uh, she's heavily sedated. They're not allowing visitors just yet. Oh, my God. She must be freaking out. And Natalia. I mean, first she thinks I abandoned her now. 
What can I do? What, what can be done? Nothing. Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? The tumor is inoperable. No. And, uh... No. All we can do is make sure that Rebecca is comfortable. You just sit back and watch her die. JR can't just take little Adam away from the only family he has left. They were starting a new life in San Diego. For two seconds. All right. JR thinks it's best for Ray. What's best? Getting him away from me. Can you blame JR for not believing your changed man story? All right, what about you? What do you believe? What does that matter? Okay, they're leaving. They're getting as far away from you as possible. Uh, me? <laughs> no, Crystal, you have this wrong. I can follow them to the ends of the earth if I want to. You, on the other hand, are stuck here. I mean, you've got a husband, you have children. You've got roots in this town. They're abandoning you, Crystal, not me. Well, whatever makes little A happy, that's what matters. What? what? Wait a minute, are you telling me that you're okay with losing your daughter and your grandson in the span of one week? It's gonna be fine. It is, they're, they're gonna be back to visit. It's, it's not gonna be that much different. Okay, look, I don't know what to do, all right? Yes, you do. You gotta stop this, Crystal. You have to stop this or that little boy is gonna walk out of your life for good. Are you okay? What about, are you okay? I mean, you're so calm. I mean, what are you, what are you feeling right now? Uh, you, you gotta be feeling something. You know, there's no guidebook to this situation. I can't talk about what my feelings are right now because I don't even know what they are. Natalia, Rebecca, it's all new. I know. I should have told you sooner. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Just promise me we'll do this right. Oh, baby, you don't have to take this on. Look, Natalia is a part of you, just like Frankie. And whether I ask for it or not, that makes her a part of me, too. When's it supposed to be like this? Oh, my God. When Rebecca dies, Natalia. No. <laughs> Natalia, she's going to be all right, OK? Because she's going to have us. She's going to have all of us. Now. We are in a bit of a spot. And due to the storm damage to the hospital, we have a great deal to do and not all that much time to do it in. So what I need from all of you is input on how to prioritize. Well, then let's get right to it. My top priority is to bring my daughter back to life. Go home. No, Jr. You can't take him. <laughs> 